Hello everyone, I'm going to introduce you the bottle top in dispenser made by D-Lab. Okay, this is the box. And this dispenser is uh, 1 to 10 ml, the capacity. Okay, the maximum is 10 ml. The minimum is 1 ml. There are many uh, different kinds, different uh, capacity for, for the dispenser. But today I'm, go I'm going to show you only this uh, 1 to 10 mil. Okay, others are the same, only uh, the same design, same uh, manipulation, only the, the capacity difference. But when you know one kind, and you know all, okay? So let me show you what's inside of this box. This is the the pipes. The pipe connected from the the dispenser reach to the bottle. Okay, this is the pipe. This is the dispenser itself. Okay. You can see the the volume marks from 0 until 10 microliter D lab and uh, this is the dispenser the the top and here is the connection to the the bottle okay this one is to cap the the cap of this uh, tip okay when we finish use it, we can cap it to protect the normal liquid drop out. Okay, this is the the tip. It hangs there. Very convenient. Okay, we put it here, and we have. These are the uh, adapters. Okay, adapters to different size of the the bottle. Okay, this is one. Okay, this is another one. This is the third one. Okay, the original design for this cap is uh, adapted to GL45. Okay, so normally the 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 Scott bottle can be used can be used here for GL45. This one is a kind of a spanner, okay? This is a Allen key, Allen key spanner. Okay, used to adjust. Let's put it on to try, okay? Here I have a one liter lab bottle with the GL45 cap, okay? GL45 cap. Normally on the cap itself, there's marks to show the uh, yes, you see, GL45 max 140 degrees. So say this is uh, uh, for the outclavable uh, bottle, and this the the size is for the cap is GL45. Okay, so we will try. We need to put on. The pipe, the pipe connection, and the bottom here. We connected it on, and then we reach to the the bottle. But apparently, this pipe is too long for for this bottle. Okay. You can see it's too long here so uh, we need to cut it until it fits to our our bottle okay even we can use other silicon pipes whatever the pipes to connect it depends on the availability of the pipes in your in your place 
you can choose okay so now uh, today I'm not going to cut because I don't have any liquid so I'm not going to cut I just want to show you how this thing going to work okay and now I will connect this bottle with the okay tidy it up okay now it is tightened it's just like this okay and from here we can try to set up the uh, the volume that we want okay here is the volume max let's say I want you to see more clearly here is 0 1 uh, on this 2 4 6 8 10 until 10 microliter okay so now if you want to if you want to get a 2 mil we just push the this button until 2 mil is marked okay can you see clearly yes okay we reach it 2 mil and I will put it down so when there's liquid we can try to manipulate trying to man manipulate and make it until 2 microliter when the liquid go out now I'm going to show you how to use it okay this is the the bottle the dispenser and from here we can see the the volume can you see it okay I make it clear you can see it yeah 1 mil, 2 mil, 4 mil, 6 mil, 8 mil and 10 mil this, the lowest is 1 mil this uh, dispenser the capacity is 1 mil to 10 mil only okay so we can adjust adjust this button to whatever volume we want okay let's say we want uh, full mil okay it is full mil now then actually when we we adjust it we should just keep it on the table top but just now I want you to see clearly the how to manipulate that's why I, I take it up so now we we set up full mail okay and we're trying to manipulate how to manipulate how to dispense okay once we set up the volume what we want then we just pull up this one and push down fastly okay pull up push down pull up push down then the volume that we set will be dispensed from the pipe okay to whatever the container we prepared this is the basic how it is used and here this is the user manual okay there's many many details we can learn from it just now what I showed is the basic use there there's some of the uh, calibration uh, volume checking to calculate the accuracy standard deviation troubleshooting and some other uh, technical things all explained in this manual so before you start to uh, manipulate you should read it clear uh, carefully for each of the dispenser, it has a certificate. It is it is a quality control certificate, or you can call it the calibration certificate. It it is uh, uh, according to the ISO. 
okay there's a ISO certification and also the CE certification all right that's it thank you so much